was a man uh, the open dreams through uh, Mr. Cover James. It's, it's been a life changing thing. Cameroon hasn't had this training before. So uh, it was time. It is not like they are not teacher enough. It is just that we don't have enough resources to take everybody. We are looking for young Nani people. And when each time we sent a rejection letter, there were some people who politely replied, I'm not lucky this time, I hope to be lucky in the future. That kind of grip my heart. At Open Dreams, we level the floor for everybody. Yes, we level everybody is equal. Because everybody has something to offer. Yes, that's why you see the young people are like, doing stuff. Because myself, I see, and I'm not able to do a lot of the things in the world. But I want to design a fly like this. I don't know, you just can't learn all those things at once. I realize somebody who is very gifted at it. You see them do videos and you see that you wish them they yeah, have spellbound. Look at that, no, this is something that needs to be encouraged. It's not, it's not a society where we believe that only the poor are wise. Somebody say even foolish people can get old, right? Yes, uh, we really love the American model, which treats people based on their competence. Good afternoon, everyone. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. My name is Cynthia Kakopon, and I teach English language and literature in English in Frankie Comprehensive and Scooby. Kami has never been involved in online teaching. As far as this training is concerned, I think I am changed for that. Um, I think I, I don't know how much I can thank uh, Open Dreams. Truly, it has opened my dreams. And I think the sky is open. So thank you, Open Dreams. Thank you so much. I'll start by thanking Open Dreams for widening my dreams. I am Lugo Yunusa. I teach in an urban and rural school. Thank you. Milton Kase Imele at the City of Yemasi. I did a online course sponsored by the US University in 2018. I went through it and now this is prepared for that. But from 2018 to present, I kept on asking myself, I kept on asking questions. What did they do to put the questions up so that when you just see and after you have your results and what's your remark, it's just in this workshop that I understood what happened. I'm very, very grateful. 
also at the breakout or the heat of COVID, I was invited over by some national inspectors to take part in the online teaching. We prepared so many lessons, unfortunately, we could not record. But I want to say I'm one of the athletic teachers who succeeded in recording a lesson. I said I recorded the Voisin lesson, vocabulary and gender equality. So I'm very happy for this opportunity of the games. Thank you very much. It was very, very enriching. And I hope we are going to go higher hands. Thank you. I am Kanga Spanis. I teach physics in GPDS Uchri, in the Baron Hill. Here in Yaoundé, I teach mathematics at the English High School in Yaoundé. Open dreams. I want to thank Mr. Akaba. I want to thank the U.S. Embassy. I want to thank the head of state. <laughs> 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 uh, and I'm a teacher in the same technique in I teach electrotechnics. So before this training, I didn't really uh, get myself in this training. You say that here I have had what it means to engage my students and my other colleagues. Why not my encourage? I was one of those teachers who was so scared of technology and I had in mind each time technology comes up it's like technology is very good for science to find people and I really sincerely want to thank Open Dreams I want to thank the US Embassy I want to thank Mr. Kaba James for this great vision to train teachers like us and removing that path of technology being a very strange thing and simplifying it to the simplest form We are just generating J'enseigne au lycée de Dian. Dian, c'est un petit lycée dans la région de l'Est. Je remercie beaucoup de James Pass pour l'opportunité qu'il nous a accordé de venir se faire former. Parce que ce sont des formations qui coûtent cher. On a été formé gratuitement. On a été bien nourri. Le cadre était bon. Je suis tellement contente et reconnaissante. Et je suis motivée de, de continuer dans ce que je fais parce que moi, j'ai une excellence. Teacher in GBHS and that in the Northwest region. I'm really glad. I want to say thank you to the Open Dream. Thank you to the US Embassy. I will not keep it for myself. I will share it with others. As many teachers as I can and with friends, parents, and you know, whoever will want to hear me talk. Um, I am called Mbua Melissa Ne. I'm a teacher at uh, Government Balikwa High School. Who? I'm a biology teacher. But to be honest, I actually feel guilty for acquiring these skills without the price tag because I've acquired a lot, and some of which are part of my preset personal development goals. I have achieved them there, some of them in less than no time. I am called Chitou Geoffrey. I'm a biology teacher in the University of Nigeria College here in Yaomi. Um, I want to tell you my colleague here, Ethan Edison, for she is the one who connected me to this part. The program was quite interesting because I have learned that some of my skills have been updated. And uh, compared to what I studied when I was in as a teacher, we had a subject called uh, educational technologies. But this program, compared to that, is quite uh, like a day or night. I'm really grateful for this. I would like to thank Mr. Akaba, and I would like to thank our uh, uh, trainers, youngsters that have inspired me. You know, when you're young, you want to go around, you want to make it in life. You don't think about giving to the community. To see youngsters so much younger than I am, giving, volunteering, 
And I don't know if we can just clap hands for this young sons. So we can see what I'm saying. Thank you. Chemistry at Quality International School. I equally give lectures in the Department of Engineering at the Santo University Institute. If they could put a team down the field to be able to work around the schools so that we try to boost what? the efficiency or the, the implementation of what is being acquired here. I think it's going to go a long way to empower both the students who are involved and the, the teachers who are going to be taking part in what we have acquired here. I'm happy, very happy. It was a great exposure of challenge. I saw somebody in the news regarding of the picture of the I want to tell you the same. Um, um, uh, when I was at technology, I saw a picture of who I would be, like open dreams. I saw my dream fulfilled when a particular speaker came up and introduced himself fully and in teachers. So I want to say thank you so much. I promise I'm going to start in my own small way to apply what I have learned to you. Thank you. I'm Slavinsky, a biologist. Teacher at Juliet School in Yaoundé. I've been part of the Minsec Distance Learning Team since it was put in place in April 2019. The experience I have had here is one that cannot be explained to some other person. It's an experience that can only be lived. Anyone who was not here cannot actually feel this experience, no matter how well I explain to that person. So, I'm very, very grateful to all the facilitators who accepted to freely share their knowledge and their know-how with us. I am grateful to all the Fulbright uh, alumni who are here with us and who have been of a great help as far as the program is concerned. I'm also very grateful to the U.S. Embassy that made it possible for this program to be run. Thank you all. I am from Pinnacle of Success Academy, that is at the Kondo. Um, I also teach at the um, de Carousel. Well, I am actually speechless. You know, when one is overwhelmed on something, one doesn't have the words to express himself or herself. Um, actually, I limited myself to just WhatsApp. I limited myself to WhatsApp. And it was like distance learning or e learning was for a particular group of people. But then when I came here, I mean, it, it's so amazing. My, my mind was so open to a lot of things. And I am called Sam Benetton Adela, a chemistry teacher, quality international school leader. I would like to encourage us that as we live here, we should not only keep the knowledge to ourselves because in those groups, many of my mates and colleagues have told me they are waiting to benefit from the knowledge I've acquired from here and that's what I actually plan to do. So as we go, let's not just keep this knowledge to ourselves or to our school. Let's also incorporate it in our teaching program as key methods and also help our colleagues to gain on the trade. Because only through that can we spread the use of instructional technology. Fantastic. And uh, I must say that this is one of the programs that uh, is life changing in regards to the participants. And uh, we are very, very lucky to have this program at this time here in Cameroon. We only hope that we can have more of such. I think the technologies that have been taught so far are very useful, very beneficial to those who have learned. And we have witnessed and testified about how useful these tools will be in their lives. And we hope that more teachers can also have this opportunity. Kudos to the organizers, kudos to the U.S. Embassy, the Ministry of Higher Education, and everyone who made this possible. Thank you. Hello everyone, my name is Abongo Malian Titus and I'm a Kondo scholar. I just want to confess that this is one of the most transformational training programs that I've not only attended but equally had the opportunity to 
share my ideas to present uh, training sessions. And I believe that using technology in teaching or using technology in pedagogy practice is only a way to ensure the sustainability of the content that is created, but also to ensure the sustainability of learning. And personally, as someone who is uh, a tech enthusiast, I think that all teachers around Cameroon, around Africa, and around the world should enhance the power of technology to, to, to you know, advance, to harness, and hold teaching as a process. Thank you.